Assalamualaikum and good day to you. My name is Nur Asfia Binti Jamaluddin and today I'll be presenting my final year project, Easy Park, augmented reality-based parking tracker application for underground parking lots with usage of QR codes. The idea for this application stems from a commonly occurring problem where drivers forget where they last parked their car, especially in underground parking lots where GPS services could not go through. Therefore, to be able to solve this problem, the EasyPod application is created with the combination of three main concepts. First one being Indoor Positioning Systems, which is an alternative to provide location services when there are no GPS services available. Second one being QR Codes, which is an effortless way for users to jot down their parking location. Lastly, Augmented Reality, which will help users to navigate themselves to their parking lot without much trouble. With the combination of these three main concepts, EasyPark is hoped to be able to solve the problem of providing navigation in underground parking lots. Now that we have the general explanation out of the way, I would now like to show you a demo on how EasyPark can be used. First off, we will have to know where we would like to implement this application. Since we are currently under the restricted movement order, the demo implementation of EasyPark will be done in the vicinity of my own home instead of an actual parking location. So on the screen, you will now see a map of a possible parking location. From this map, we can then choose where we would like to set our entrances and parking lots. Say, for example, in this map, I would like to set my entrances at entrance A and entrance B, while the parking lots will be at block 1, block 2, and block 3. After this has been planned out, we can then set up the QR codes that will be the method on how users will be able to save their parking location. Other than that, Placement guides will also be set up on the floor of these entrances. After this has been completed, the distance from each of the entrances to each of the parking lots are measured, and this information is then used to create navigation paths in Unity. After these maps have been integrated inside the EasyPark application, we will then be able to move on to using it. Let's imagine the situation and how EasyPark can be used. Say for example, I just got into the parking lot of this shopping mall and parked my car at block 1. What I have to do now is to start the Easy Park application and click on the Save Parking Location button on the main menu. I will then be prompted to scan a QR code that will be available on the nearest wall. After scanning the QR code, the application will then save my parking location and redirect me back to the main menu. I can now go to do some shopping. 3 hours later, I'm done with my shopping, and I would like to return back to my parking lot from my current location, which is entrance A. So what I do is I open back the application, and click on Find Parking Location. I will then be prompted to scan a QR code that will inform the application of my current location. After clicking Find My Car, I will be redirected to another screen, where I would have to move the camera around to scan my surroundings. After a few seconds, a placement indicator will appear and I would have to align the green arrow to the placement guide on the floor and click on the screen. After that, a navigation path will appear and I would only need to follow that to get back to my parking location. Upon reaching my parking location, I can then click on the green button, click on the confirmation pop-ups and I will then be redirected back to the main menu. That will then be the end of the Easy Park demo. Now, I will be moving on to the poster, which will explain a bit more on the details of the project. As I have explained a bit earlier, the EasyPark application is created to be able to solve the problem of drivers forgetting where they park their car, especially in underground parking lots where GPS services could not go through. The application is built with the combination of three main concepts, indoor positioning systems, augmented reality, and QR codes. There are four main problem statements for this project including Drivers forgetting where they last parked their car, which becomes a great inconvenience in their day-to-day -day lives. Having no universal application to track parking, since the technology are usually only catered to one specific parking location at a time. Having no access to GPS in underground parking lots, which means that there is no method for users to navigate themselves. And lastly, having no reliable way for jotting down parking locations, risking the possibility of users losing track of where they park their car. To be able to counter this problem, the objectives of the project are To develop EasyPark, 
augmented reality-based parking tracker application with usage of QR codes for Android devices. To apply augmented reality in solving the issue of not being able to find where a driver has parked their car. And lastly, to solve the issue of providing navigation in underground parking lots where geolocation services could not go through. The methodology chosen to build the EasyPark application is the Rapid Application Development Methodology. This is due to the fact that it allows a rapid development of the product, which will be very ideal given the limited time allocated to finish this project, alongside the fact that it supports reusability of previously developed components. Other than that, the RAD methodology which includes repetitive review during development also allows space for the developer to check whether the application truly follows the requirements that has been given. This ensures that the application is built exactly on how it is planned. Previously, there have been several other existing and proposed solutions for the problem that we're trying to solve. Some of them include applications such as Find My Car Smarter and CarFinder AR. However, these applications are not usable in underground parking lots, which leads to the need of an application that will be able to do so. As we can see from the comparison table over here, we can see that these existing applications have some parts that can be improved. Some of these applications require an additional device for it to work, which can be a bit pricey, while some of them do not have the implementation of augmented reality, which may pose some sort of problem to the user when they try to navigate themselves. It can also be seen that all of them require location services that are unattainable in underground parking lots, and also the fact that a majority of them are not supported by the Android platform. The result of this project is the fully functional Easy Park application that drivers could use to be able to track their parking location in underground parking lots. Other than that, the application also comes with a set of QR codes and placement guides that is to be used alongside the application. An interesting thing to note about the EasyPark QR codes is that they are carefully color-coded to make sure that users do not confuse them easily. The QR codes for saving parking locations have a green frame surrounding it, while the QR codes for indicating the user's current location is surrounded by a blue frame. Additionally, if the user makes a mistake when scanning them, the application will show an error pop-up to inform the user which QR code they would have to look for. In the future, the EasyPark application can be improved when a different method of obtaining location coordinates without the use of GPS services is found. It is also possible that it will be a more improved way of providing augmented reality with the development of AR core capabilities. Additionally, since EasyPark is only available for Android devices as of the moment, it will be amazing to see it being developed for the iOS platform in the future. In a nutshell, EasyPark is a project that aims to create a parking tracker application for underground parking lots to help drivers find where they have last parked their car. With the application's functionality, it is hoped that drivers can perform this task with ease and efficiency, improving the quality of their everyday lives. Since current existing applications for indoor navigation still have room for improvements, EasyPark hopes to be a part of this improvement journey by providing a solution that requires minimum hardware and can be used without a GPS connection. With the implementation of AR features and QR code, it is hoped that EasyPark will be one of the creations that inspires our developers on what can be further developed in the future. And that concludes the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching. Stay home, stay safe.